Hi, Dr. Bresson. Can you tell us about the inflammation risk factor? So inflammation is a big one, and it can come from many different sources. And in fact, as has often been pointed out, just the aging process itself is so intimately linked with inflammation. So this is something that affects the brain and can come from changes in the oral microbiome. It can come from a leaky gut. It can come from eating pro-inflammatory foods. Uh, it can come from exposure to biotoxins, exposure to air pollution, um, even can uh, be increased with things like stress, chronic stress. So there are many, many different ways to trigger this inflammation. And it is a key player. It's a key player in cardiovascular disease as well as in brain disease. And so we want to look carefully at all the potential sources of the inflammation. We want to not just get rid of the inflammation, but we want to get rid of the sources so that you don't have problems with this in the future. Then we want to dial that down and keep you from recurring inflammation because that definitely triggers synapse loss, triggers cognitive decline. So inflammation, a key player, lots of different sources. And often when people are failing to get better, one of the common problems is that they haven't identified what's causing the ongoing brain inflammation.